hi guys welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be a little different from videos that i used to post this is going to be a story time of when i asked my husband to teach me how to drive yeah my husband said i should go ahead and download one of those little game the games on your phone you know the games that you use your finger and you move the car and you stop at a stoplight yeah my husband said if I go ahead and download one of those um, game app, I'll definitely know how to drive. <laughs> yep, my husband say so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, I know my, my face is a mess. I've been on the road all day and I'm actually driving, guys. Yep. So um, let me start here first. When I was pregnant with my oldest daughter and I was walking home from work, my husband was and still driving. And... Um, Sometimes he comes from work late. I'm working, he's working, and I'm pregnant, and I'm walking home. I have a big belly in front of me. I'm walking home about 9.30, around them time, and I just see a, a guy riding around me on a bicycle. He rides around me about four times. Guys, I stood there. I was so weak. Like, my knees was definitely shaking. Like, only thing left for me is just pee myself imagine a pregnant woman say a man i'm just i'm just not for real i'm just keep just riding around me riding around me so and then after he leave and i think my guardian angel was right there you know so um i went home and i tell him what happened and i said you know you can pick me up sometime from work i'm i'm gonna need you to teach me how to drive he's like oh no i can't teach you to drive no you're pregnant and it's not safe for a pregnant woman to be driving i said what you said it's not safe for a pregnant woman to be driving? Okay, my auntie just got her license and she's pregnant with twin. I know a lot of people, a lot of single mom out there that is even pregnant and they're driving. So what are you telling me? Oh no, I'm, I'm just not gonna teach you to drive now. I'm not. So I said, okay, then he's not gonna teach me to drive now. Yeah, I'll go ahead and wait. All right, after I have my baby, I did get pregnant two more times, so. I did not bother him. He picks me up sometime after take um Lyft or Uber to go to my doctor's appointment. It was a struggle for me to um with all two stroller with the um, car seat and the stroller. It was a struggle for me, guys, and it was weighing on me, you know, because sometimes he couldn't bring me to appointments. Sometimes my friends bring me, sometimes my family bring me, but you know, some they have things to do some time. So after I have my last baby um, in 2018, I asked him, can you teach me to drive now? Like I'm not pregnant, you have all the time. Just teach me to drive. Oh no, I can't teach you to drive because it's not safe. You have a lot of drivers out there that eat people and run. I said, nothing, as long as you're driving, um, you're a safe driver, that's okay. You're driving for, for years and nothing happened. Oh, yes, because I'm doing it for years. So I said, go ahead and teach me how to drive. He's like, no, I can't, I can't. It's not safe out there. It's very dangerous. There's a lot of bad driver here in Florida. I said, okay, then. So I got to work in 2019, and my auntie gave me a number of a guy. She said he's very nice. He was nice. Um, It took me, like... um within no time the guy he said you're ready and my first the my first try for my driver's license i did got it and yeah so when he didn't know that i was trying he didn't know that i was paying somebody to teach me to drive he did not know i was paying somebody to teach me to drive until i got my license i go ahead and show him okay i got my license so me thinking no like i got my license he's gonna go ahead and um let me drive his vehicle <laughs> that's a different story <laughs> okay so remember i'm working i work 3 to 11 so when he come to pick me up from work um i said to him said can you go ahead i'm sorry guys i'm looking because i'm here to pick my kids up so that's the main reason i'm looking to see if the cars are moving and the guy always take the kid's name down first before we go around okay so um when when i got the license now and i said okay he's gonna let me drive his vehicle and all of them stuff okay when I showed him the license, I said, oh, congratulations and hug me and stuff like that. Me feel happy now. So, yes, he's going to, you know, I'm not comfortable on the road as yet. I'm not comfortable on the road. So, I said, oh, 
okay when he come and pick me from work i said can you go ahead and can you let me drive home like how it's this late and there's not much vehicle on the road I leave work at um 11 but sometime i'm out by 11 15 or 11 30 11 15 or 11 30 so i said like how there's not much people on the road can you let me drive home oh no i can't let you drive with the kids and my vehicle him, him find every fault in the book like every fault in the book that he can find to tell me he tell me the steering wheel is stiff oh the kids are in the vehicle and i want to make sure the vehicle is working good i said you're driving it i got my license now you're the best person to teach me now to let me feel comfortable on the road i'm gonna be driving when i get my vehicle i'm gonna be driving this far to work i want to make sure i feel comfortable and confident on the road can you do this for me no i can't because my steering wheel is fixed okay Give him a couple weeks and fix him steering wheel and I asked him again. He said, no, um, the vehicle is not driving properly. And when I press gas, like it's still, when I press um, brakes, it's still um, like the vehicle still, like the vehicle still not um, moving properly and stuff like that. I said, okay, I'll leave him alone. So pandemic come, you know, everybody under lockdown and stuff like that. What I did after the pandemic, I save up enough and I go ahead and I go get me a, a vehicle and after I get my vehicle there is this I did I was scared to drive it off the parking lot guys <laughs> can you believe that so you bring me to go and get my car so after I send for my I buy my car and everything the guy gave me the key and he said okay congrats and he said you're gonna drive your car home tonight I said no my husband is gonna come and pick the car up um, my husband is gonna come and pick the car up tomorrow. He's like, you're not gonna drive it up? I said, no, because the kids, I'm finding excuse now because I'm used to him giving him, giving me so much excuse. I started to make excuse because I do not wanna drive my own car off the parking lot. So when I come home, I call my auntie and I said, oh, guess what? She said, what? And I sent her a picture and I said, I got my car. She said, congrats. She said, is it home? How do you feel driving it home? I said, I did not drive it home. She said, what? I said, no, it's gonna pick it up tomorrow. She said, no, that's your car. You're gonna be on the road. Go ahead and go get your car and drive the car off the parking lot. <laughs> uh, I was so scared. I said, okay, even when I get up in the morning and like I said, you're gonna pick the car for me? He said, yes. I was there, I'm like, it's really my car. And if I'm scared to drive it on the parking lot, I'm gonna be scared to drive on the road as well. I said, you know what, let me go and pick my car up. I go ahead and I was so nervous guys I was so <laughs> nervous like I was really really nervous to drive the car off and you know what I sit back and I take a deep breath in and out and I said pull it together Patrice this is your car you'll be driving your kids to school and driving them back home you have appointments to bring the kids you have your appointments you have work you have to do what you have to do and I drive it home. <laughs> I did drive it home. But you know what? You know what? Even when I went to Georgia last year, um, and I showed my uncle, I showed my uncle, I said, I got my license. And Uncle Greg said, you do come and come, 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 come drive. I said, I've never drive before. Like, I'm not comfortable on the road. He's like, don't worry, I got you. And I start to find excuse. Like, I start to find excuse because I was scared. <laughs> I know Uncle Greg was watching and now you're gonna find out it's because I was scared. That's the main reason I didn't wanna drive. Like, I was so scared, but now I'm driving every day, like, every single day i'm driving every single day like there is not one day that i don't drive from monday to sunday i'm driving from monday to to sunday i'm on the road i have to drop the kids off i have to pick them up i have to bring i have to pick up my son for speech therapy like i'm on the road like every day like i'm so comfortable on the road now i'm like why why wasn't i doing this a long time ago with driving guys is so easy and I don't know why I was letting my husband put in all these crazy thoughts in my head. You just have to have respect for other drivers and that's it. But it's so easy. It's so easy. I remember this um, one time I asked him to, when I just got the vehicle and I said, could you um, come with me because the baby appointments it was a distance and I said, you know, knowing that I'm not too comfortable on the road, I'm going to need you and I'll drive. And he said, okay. That was a crazy day. 
that was a crazy day like if i'm going too slow you're going to slow you're going to slow if i'm going too fast you're going so fast oh my god you're going slow they're gonna be blowing you I, I don't know are you gonna manage you know what he said oh you can drive you can drive um to burger king or kfc you know to them drive to line he's saying that i can't do it you know when you went to work the other day i go ahead and i drive to through that drive to and get my kids fries and when he come home he's like oh your friend bring you fries i said no i'll get myself fries oh you went to the drive through i said yes i did went to the drive so you know things that he tell me that i can't i'm doing it and you know not only that growing up a lot of people tell me that oh um people always doubt me telling me that oh you're not gonna do this you're not gonna do that you're not gonna be able to manage to do that you, you're not gonna have kids not gonna have kids and i pushed three kids in three years i wanted the next one yes i wanted four kids but the body said no more <laughs> so yes guys so the moral of my story is do not let no one tell you that you can't me people always doubt me growing up and i always prove them wrong i always prove them wrong people always doubt me and i always prove them wrong do not let no one tell you that you can't if there's something out there that you want to do and even if you can't just try and try until you succeed trust me there's nothing that no one can do take it from me i've been through it like i've been through it and it's by the grace of god that i'm still here and doing a lot of stuff that people say i want to be able to do but thank you guys so much for watching <laughs>